We are about to go to Bellevue to two um, saltwater aquarium stores to look at some coral. Just shopping, just window shopping, not, not really um, planning to buy anything. Tank's totally not ready. I need to do a lot more things. I just finished watching the, uh, what is it called, B BRS series, the five minute series on how to set up a tank. So I'm gonna go back and tweak some stuff, uh, probably add some more sands, get some more rocks. We might get rocks today, I don't know. We'll see what they have. And yeah, I'm interested. I'm just super excited to look at some bubble corals. They look really cute. And really start picking out what kind of anemones I want. I'm hoping they'll let us film inside. If not, maybe we'll just be able to get some pictures and I'll share with you uh, some of the things that I see that I think may be in my future tank. All right. Okay, we are at Inside Sea King Aquariums in Seattle and they were nice enough to let us film a little bit. So I'm gonna take you guys around and see what they got. I love marine life. Yeah, I've always been drawn to the water, uh, the ocean. I've always wanted to learn how to swim. I actually didn't officially do that until I was an adult. I got certified to scuba dive. I've scuba dived in the Great Barrier Reef, in the Maldives, um, in the Red Sea, in the uh, China Sea, out on, where did we go, Malaysia. So these guys look like sweaters. Bubble coral. Why are they called hammer corals? Aren't they bubble corals? Those fancy clownfish. Are they worth the money? Torch corals are just so beautiful to look at. This is their main tank and it's gorgeous. So we're moving on. We're gonna check out another um, saltwater aquarium place. This one I believe has a little bit more fish, not just corals, but I could be wrong. And uh, we shall see if they've been there before. So yeah, see you guys when we get there. We have arrived at Saltwater City. Let's go inside folks. done a bit of diving, not a lot. Um, I don't think that, I don't know, I like the idea of diving, but the last time I did it was in the Caribbeans with my sister, and it's hard on your body. It's a very, <laughs> I'm, I'm very out of shape. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was difficult. I felt tired, but it was still very enjoyable and it's always cool to see marine life in their natural environment.
snorkeling is the next best thing, really, and it's so much easier. Um, did loads of snorkeling in the Red Sea. Amazing if you ever want to go. It's super easy. The water there is fantastic. So there is scuba diving here in the Pacific Northwest. I have not considered it. You would probably want to wear a dry suit because the water is just super cold here, no matter what time of year it is. Um, but I have seen some pretty amazing pictures of what's going on down there. So maybe, maybe, maybe next year? I don't know. Figure out how to get down there. People just kind of like, I've seen people with just tanks and they just rock up and they just start walking into the beach. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. <laughs>